Uh, we've previously heard from two IRS whistleblowers that Joe Biden was the brand being sold by his family members. One such example of this could be seen in a June 6, 2017 WhatsApp message where Hunter Biden told a business associate that he was not willing to, quote, sign over my family's brand, close quote, or give them, quote, the keys to my family's only asset. Mr. Bobolinsky, can you confirm that President Biden is the brand being sold by his family members? Thank you. During his deposition, Hunter Biden repeatedly testified under oath that his father was not involved in his business in any capacity and that there wasn't even a connection between his father and his businesses. Here is just one example. Quote, I just state for the record one more time, under oath and under penalty of perjury, my father has never been involved in my business. I have never asked my father to be involved in my business. My father has never benefited from my business, and I have never asked anyone or my father to do anything for the benefit of anyone I've ever done business for, close quotes. Yet the Ways and Means Committee released a WhatsApp message that, that were provided by the IRS whistleblowers showing that Hunter Biden wrote on July 30th, 27, quote, I'm sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. I'm sitting here waiting for the call with my father. Moreover, you testified that Hunter was not shy about his ability to get his father on the phone. And Devin Archer testified that there were multiple instances in which Hunter placed his dad on speakerphone. Mr. Bobolinsky, was Hunter Biden telling the truth when he testified under oath that his father was never involved in any of his business dealings? No, he was not. Those are all blatant lies. We continue to hear claims that President Biden was not involved in his family's business dealings and that he did not benefit from illicit business deals. However, IRS Special Agent Joe Ziegler provided documents to the Ways and Means Committee, 327 emails, many of which involve Hunter Biden and Hunter Biden's business associates. Mr. Bobolinsky, do you have any personal experience that leads you to believe that Joe Biden was involved with Hunter Biden's business associates and business dealings? Yes, I do. Do you want to say a few? That, uh, to outline how Joe was involved? Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, different congressmen and women uh, keep trying to say that there's no evidence and use the word involved, um, it, which is a very opaque language. If Joe Biden was not involved in his son's business dealings, why, after flying all the way across the country to the Milken Conference, where there is next to Davos, is probably the biggest conference in the world, why would he take 45 minutes out of his night? It wasn't a 10 a.m. meeting. It was 1040 in the evening. He's an elderly man flew all the way across country to sit with me for 45 minutes to an hour to discuss my background, the business we are doing with the Chinese, his family's background. Speaking of the business with the Chinese, in October 2020, Joe Biden asserted that his family had not earned money through business dealings in China. However, IRS whistleblowers shared evidence that the Biden family made at least $1.1 million from their business with China, including $100,000 in payment from CFC, China Energy, and a $1 million payment in exchange for legal services that were never provided to a CFC official, Patrick Ho. Mr. Bobolinsky, do you know whether the Biden family made any money from China? They did. Millions of dollars. I think approximately eight to nine million. The Biden family has made millions of dollars from China, correct? Correct. And you said at least nine million? Yeah, I think it's actually over 10 million, but I'll leave those uh, details up to you guys.